Yes, that's Joe Bleen here and welcome to episode 9 of the Free to Play Road to Glory and some big things are going in this episode. So we had Thanksgiving, we had Flash Sale, we've got Weekend League, we've got Trading Investments, we've got a lot. Flash Sale, I was going to hold it off waiting to do this video until after Flash Sale that concluded on the Monday. I've had so much footage already, I thought we'll have the conclusion of that in the next episode. So we did manage to get the double points token, so we finished the day of Black Friday with 300 flash sale points. We're in a good position on Monday to get a pretty nice player. Uh, World class one rewards were in. We had we had weekend tournament to go. And it was an Antonio Valencia right wing back player this week. And it was also the Nabi Keita team hero card. And I was tempted, I was thinking, you know what, I may actually grind out and use some of my FIFA points that I've been saving up to actually use it on playing numerous weekend tournaments. However, this week, rather than giving you stamina for paying for entry, they give you coins instead. So you get 50,000 coins rather than getting 15 stamina. And I realized when they changed that, yeah, it's nice. For the majority of people, for most weeks, coins are definitely better for people. But this weekend, every piece of stamina I had was going, every piece of spare stamina I had was going into team here, well not, sorry, was going into flash sale on the Friday and then the rest of it was going into Thanksgiving to get that Team Howard card. So that meant that I just didn't have the spare stamina left over to be able to spend extra on weekend tournament. I could only barely just use it as it was. But I was like, okay, we'll just do the one go. Cater, we'll have to hold him off and we'll have to go for a bonus player in the future, obviously, let their then points build up. But this week was quite successful because, like I say, I was going to originally try and do numerous tournaments to get that K to Team Hero card. I decided not to live con my weekend tournament. And it ended up being my most successful one so far. Maybe being able to just concentrate on the game without having to commentate at the same time potentially helped. Maybe it was just because my team's getting better now and better teams are moving up divisions so it allowed me to have more even games. There was one game I came up against. He had a 90 rated squad and I was like, oh, here's a loss incoming. 10 seconds into the game, he scored his own goal. Scored a few more own goals. And I was like, okay, this is nice. Praise the FIFA Mobile Gods. I've matched up with somebody who's currently demoting because obviously weekend tournament, you play it inside versus attack. So you're not necessarily coming against other people who are actually playing weekend tournament at the moment. They may just be playing versus attack naturally themselves. I do hope in the future that um, they find a way. So when you're in weekend tournament, you're only playing others in weekend tournament. It should then create closer matchups. So you're not potentially coming against others. Maybe you like it the way it is at the moment. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you like complete, having the chance to potentially come up against people who are actually just playing versus attack? So you may get lucky with a demotion. Demoter playing or do you prefer to only play people who are also playing weekend tournament at the same time let me know your thoughts in the comment section below interesting to see how you feel about that one i'm a bit swayed either way i think for the sake of purity and just making sense you should only be playing people who are playing weekend tournament at the same time but um it it has swings and roundabouts like i say i got a free win essentially because some guy was just you know he was he was demoting, so I got a free win essentially out of it. I won't complain. Um, it could have gone the other way around, and he could have been somebody who was, um, wasn't was demoting, and I could have got thrashed while he was climbing. Either way, as more people go into the divisions and get into the division they should be, um, I'm just hoping you'll match up with more equal opponents in terms of fan counts, because I've seen a lot of people getting matched up like with fans a, hundred, a few hundred thousand higher, like those ones in the FIFA Champion, because there's not that many FIFA Champions yet, they are seeping down and end up getting searched against people below. That should sort out with itself in time. Um, it's a shame, obviously, really, if it happens to you, but over time it should go away. It's just early while everyone's sort of finding their positions. So um, that's okay. Now, moving into this game, we was, we was ready ahead. He was just hot on our tails. But it was going well. We were on shop, but we'd lost like one game and all the others were winning. And I was feeling confident this week. Didi was on form and top. Moving Rashford out over onto the right was a godsend move. Because obviously your right winger gets more action. And Rashford, such a good card. I'm so thankful I packed him. 
because he is very, very good. Ronaldo is slowly improving and he's out on the left anyway, so he's not as important. Um, but that was that. We went into the final game. We needed, we had got two losses now and we needed one more win to get the 10th win. And we managed to pull away against Natan Nat. He was hot on our tails. We got a seventh goal and I was thinking that should be it now. We had just in time chance to try and get an eighth just to wrap it up because we knew there was no chance and we had secured it. it. Took us three weeks, but on the third week we got the wins required. Obviously it was only 10 wins this week instead of 12. Could we have got to 12 potentially? I'm not complaining though, we got the 10 we needed and we'd secured ourselves the weekend league win. So we got the skill boost, we got the training XP and we've got ourselves Valencia. Now, we don't necessarily need to use Valencia in our team as a right wing back. We don't need that and our right back's already better in terms of boost. So we don't need to use Valencia. But he's going to be nice to store there should we ever move to a five back formation. Because you never know, it's, we're still early days in this FIFA mobile season. At some point we could decide that five at the back is good again and we need to use five at the back. And we've got ourselves a right wing back for should we ever need one in the future. And heck, when, when they make it so untradeable players and um, special players like that can be used as XP, we'll have it there. So this was it all just to round it round off our flash sale ending on the Friday night. Um, so yeah, we finished Friday night. We didn't miss a single one. We set some alarms in the morning um, to make sure we got them in. I was actually up early for work, so I managed to get the first round, which was only about an hour and a half long rather than the three hours. And then with it being Friday night, I didn't have work on Saturday. I stayed up till the 2 a.m., um, did it, and then went straight to bed afterwards. And then over the weekend, there's been the two more 10 points on the Saturday and Sunday. So that's 320 points we're on. My plan is to try and get the double boost straight away. I got it lucky and got it first time last time, so I didn't have to spend any FIFA points. But if required, I'll spend a couple 50 FIFA points to get that double boost because we can potentially get ourselves a team hero or an icon card out of this. Because on the first round they were 400 points and we're at 320 now so we only need 80 we just need to hope that they don't happen too early in the cycle to make sure that we can we can get ourselves a big big player to bring because that's going to help us a lot team hero card um if it's a team hero card one in the position that we need well pretty much any apart from left wing will, will be what we want um, striker i'm liking die day but a striker would be a high rated anyway so that would be cool and it's going to unlock that path on Ronaldo as well so that would be great um, an icon it was Maldini on the Friday if Maldini pops up again it would be hard to refuse Maldini so I'm using him on my main account he's very very good indeed it's just do I want an icon or do I do I want a team hero and are they going to happen once I've already got to the 400 points that's what I need to happen team hit as I was saying I was using all the rest of my stamina apart from what I needed for league versus league and daily activities and the flash down on the Friday on Thanksgiving, getting them ads in. Like I said a few times, if you don't get adverts, it's not EA's fault, it's advertisers' fault for just not wanting to pay to show you adverts. And obviously a time like this, more people are using adverts than usual. So adverts are gonna run out for what advertisers are gonna pay. You can try restarting your app uh, using VPNs. I know some people do to try and trick it, but if ads aren't showing up, it's just because advertisers aren't wanting to pay to your demographic, which is a shame. But hey, if someone doesn't wanna pay, to show an advert to you, then that's their choice. It's a shame, but it's how it works. We got um, we managed to get the points required. We got to the 9,000 points uh, and 50, and it was time to start working our way through the cycles. Because what we wanted to do was to keep track of making sure we'd got enough points, was I wanted to get all the points, the 9,050 points, before starting on the actual tree. Um, on the branches should I say of the nodes just so I could keep track easier rather than lose count thinking okay I've done them let's minus this add this and then we pulled ourselves um titty in the player back and I was like yes that's what what is he about four five hundred K I was considering using him but then I looked at his stats compared to the players I already had and he wasn't actually better so I was like okay and then we got Radu and I thought I bet actually Radu I bet he's about 40 40 K or so that's a nice addition as well so we've made about 500k from the Thanksgiving packs and obviously you get about 200 odd k from the coin tree we've got some xp got some skill boost and we've got ourselves this 85 rated howard card and i think i've got a plus two or plus three boost already on his on his skill boost so that'll take him up to 88 and i've been using howard on my main account and he's very very good he's actually better than 
than the campaign booth on. So take that for what you want if you've got him or not. It's a bit late now going for it if you're watching, unless you're going to spend FIFA points. But um, yeah, I'm Titi, listed him at 475,000 coins. Phil Jones, obviously, who you remember the other day, we invested him. We paid 40k or under for all these Phil Jones, and he's going for just over 60k. So that's 20k per profit per card. On it was either 11 or 12 Phil Jones we picked up in the end. 20k profit on every single one of them. That's a nice little earner. So after selling these cards, we had made quite a bit of bang buck because they all sold on the first time of listing. So at 779k, we claim the Untiti, we claim the Redo. And then we're at 1.27. Now it's time to bring in all our investments. And Team Harris is working so well. Yeah, I would recommend if you guys are getting on it, do it. Um, have a look at the prices. Like we have a few days coming up. Because you can see who the next Team Heroes are going to be. Check who they are. Check the prices. Then about an hour after the, an hour, a couple of hours after the event. Check the ones you've had your eye on. And see how far they've dropped. Phil Jones, I was looking at him. He was about 80, 90k. 80 to 100k before it started. Dropped down to 40 and below, and then I sold, I cashed out at 60. I could have waited a few days, he may have rose a bit higher, but I decided to not be greedy and cash out at 20k. So it was at just shy of 2 million coins, and it was time I did the calculations and it worked out. I needed to go up five overalls across my team to get up to 86. So I invested two in Didi because he's class, two in Lalich because he's. A commanding force i'm so happy i pulled him he's been playing really really well for me and i thought just to make the little switchy icon go away although it's not showing at the moment i would do it on falatars one-on-one -on -one. and that took us up to an 86 rated pretty pleased with that we'll have the next episode in a couple of days once we've got the flash flash sale sort of that and all of that and see who we're bringing to the team because it's going to be a big addition coming to the team so leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new here come follow me on twitter at joe in hd and i'll see you all later Peace. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love.